Welcome guys and girls, my name is Callum X and in today's video we're going to work on your stream audio. We're going to be working on making sure that people don't moan anymore that your music is too loud or too quiet and they can't hear your microphone on the Discord's too. It's not going to happen anymore with this amazing trick that we are going to learn today. All right, so here we are in OBS Studio and the first thing I need to make sure that you're able to do is separate your music from your desktop audio. There are many ways to do this. You can buy hardware, you can have mixers, you can get a Go XLR, you can use the Elgato Wave. All of these give you options to be able to separate your game audio around. If you don't have any of those things, then the next best thing is a piece of software called Voice Meter. This is what I use. It's actually free to use if you wanna just use it simply. If you want extra audio inputs and outputs, then you donate a very small amount and you can get voice meter potato, which is actually the one I use. So the link for that is down in the description below. Now, once you've installed voice meter, it should look something along the lines of this. As I say, this is the larger piece of software. This potato is definitely well worth the money. And you'll see here in the middle that you have desktop. Well, you have three audio outputs essentially. Okay. Now, I've labeled them desktop voice and music. This is what I use those three outputs for. You can use them for whatever you want or if you've only got two, but you need to label one of them music. All right. And you need to remember which one you labeled for music. So in this case, I use Vio3. So I've remembered, okay, voice me to Vio3 is music. All right. Once you've done this, the next place you need to go is to your Windows sound mixer so just type in sound into the windows search bar and you'll see sound mixer options just simply select that and here we go you might not have seen this before but this is the windows sound mixer every single program that you have open at this particular time will show up in this mixer and you can see what the audio output and the audio input is for that particular piece of software now obviously i'm leaving most of them as default but the one that I'm really interested in at this point is Spotify. So Spotify is currently using the output voice meter VIO3. If you remember, that's the one we just selected in voice meter. So we're going to choose VIO3 as the output for Spotify. And that's all you need that for. You can now cross that off. Goodbye. Same with Spotify. Okay. So now we're back in OBS. And the bit that we're interested in now is the audio mixer, which is down in the bottom right hand side of the screen for me. And what you need to do is add an audio source for Spotify in particular or Apple Music or iTunes, whatever it is that you use, you need to add an audio source. So all you need to do is come up here, click plus audio output capture. The easiest way to, to think of the difference between these is audio input, think of a microphone, anything where you are putting audio into the computer, you're you're inputting the audio. Whereas audio output is you if you have a piece of software that's pushing audio out to you. Spotify is one of those things. It's obviously outputting audio and you're just grabbing it as it comes out. So we're going to do an audio output capture, uh, create a new one. In this case, obviously, I've already got one created, but you just do create new. It's going to give you a window that looks very much like this. And all you need to do is simply choose the audio device that you just selected in voice meter, which was bio three for me. All right. So now I have Spotify set up down here. And when I click play on Spotify, you will see that the bars are going up and down. You might also notice that the volume goes down every time I talk. So how do we do that? That is the magic bit that we're really interested in in this video. This is the sort of the golden ticket, should we say. This is what's going to make your stream really, really stand out. So let's look at how we do it. Now, if you right click on the cog wheel down here in the mixer and go to filters, you'll see that I've got a couple of them set up and you're basically going to copy these. What you're going to do is go down to plus, click compressor and change the name of it to ducking. Okay, ducking is the process. That's what this process is called. I'm going to try and explain to you how all of this works as I go through the numbers. But for the most part, you don't really need to know how it works. You just need to know it works. But hopefully this will give you a slight understanding of what you're actually doing here. The ratio is how sharp, how, how blunt, how much of, a, of a, an impact this particular 
uh, filter is actually having on your music. So for example, if I've got it set at 2.5 to one, which means that for every 2.5 decibels, the music gets louder, it only raises by one. If I had that for eight, for example, that means for every eight decibels, it was gonna get higher, it was gonna get louder, it's I'm only allowing it to go one decibel louder. If you've got background music, you probably want it to be quite soft in this case. So I've gone with two and a half to one, which sounds perfect in my opinion on my stream. If you want to come and ask any questions, by the way, my, my link to my stream is down below, twitch.tv forward slash Calamex Games. Come hang out, ask any questions, happy to help. Now the threshold is the volume that the music has to get to before this effect even like even takes place. Okay, so this effect is not going to do anything until it hits that particular threshold. So if you set the threshold at like zero dB, this effect is never going to do anything, right? It's never going to work because chances are your microphone's never going to be that loud. And if it is, you really need to go and do your microphone setup. I think there's a video up above somewhere that helps you do that. The threshold I have currently set for minus 30. As you can see down here, my Spotify hangs around between minus 30 and minus 25 at its standard volume so it means that it's just gonna take the top off just a little bit okay take the top off just a little bit so the thresholds at minus 30 whatever level you have your audio set up for the music just go about 5 db below that and you should be golden it should be good all right the attack is how fast you want it to actually add the effect like how quickly when you start talking do you want it to actually hit it do you want do you want the, the volume to decrease obviously you want that to be ridiculously fast because you don't want them to not hear the first word of your sentence because it took too long for the music to go down so one millisecond is perfect for that release is how long after you finish talking do you want it to take for the music to get back to its normal volume and obviously you don't want that to be instant because then it will just sound like sound weird so you got a 500 millisecond attack which is a slow slope of volume back up to what it was before hopefully i'm making sense with this the output gain you just ignore that you don't want any output gain at all and this is the one thing that you need to make sure you get right or this won't work is the side chain or ducking source all right, now what you want to do is go in there and choose the exact source that is your microphone, okay? Mine's called Blue Yeti still from when I used to use a Blue Yeti, but it's not. It's uh, this thing over here, this Rode Pod mic I've been using for the last six months or so. Uh, but yeah, so I choose Blue Yeti, which is my microphone. And now if I turn this effect on, you will see that every time I talk, it reduces the volume of Spotify. And then when I stop talking, it should rise right back up again. Once we've done this, there's another sneaky little cool trick that you can have if you want your alerts to really make an impact on your stream. And that is to add another ducking filter, but this time do it for your desktop audio. Especially if you've only got your alerts coming through your desktop audio, this is absolutely perfect. It's how you do it. So create another compressor. So go plus compressor. Uh, name it ducking alerts this time. However, this time we're going to make it really harsh. So the ratio is going to be 10 to 1. The threshold, minus 50, I've done it at, uh, which is obviously extremely low volume all the way down here. So anything over minus 50 it is going to compress all the way down. And then the attack, again, exactly the same. And the release, again, exactly the same 500 milliseconds because I want it to go back up slowly. And the side chain or ducking source this time around is going to be my desktop audio because that's where my alerts come through. So I get an alert, it takes the music all the way off. I don't have to press anything, just, just takes the music all the way down. Everyone who's watching the stream doesn't hear any music. All they hear is the bar of my alerts. <laughs> I mean, you can follow me on Twitch and have a look. It automatically brings the music back in. So I don't have to touch anything. It just sounds like a well-oiled machine. Absolutely beautiful. Lastly, I'm just going to give you my personal preference as to where to get music from. Now, I know there's a lot of free places you can go on Spotify, so and I'm not taking anything away from those. Those are perfect. But if you are someone who wants to really, really go all out and give their viewers the best or the closest experience they can get to having proper copyrighted music, 
playing in the background, then this particular website, Epidemic Sound, is the one that I found to be the best. I've got subscriptions on a few websites, but this is definitely the one I'd recommend. Their music, you could easily, a lot of the songs, you could easily just think that they were in the charts. They, they are fantastic. And the amount of genres are insane. So I just wanted to throw this in there. Like I say, they're not sponsoring the video, but I'll put the link down in the description anyway, so you can go check it out. All right, guys and girls, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. That's fine too. Leave any comments down below if you have any questions. You can also leave them on Discord or you can come and join me on Twitch Monday to Friday where I'll try and answer any of them in the chat as well if you like. Hopefully now nobody's going to join your chat and be like, I can't hear your voice. The music's too loud because it won't be. <laughs> Oh, dear, guys. I, I, again, hopefully you found this one useful. Um, I'll speak to you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, I guess. Bye-bye.